Okay, so this is a recording to show you how to use the solver function uh, in chemistry, specifically for the equilibrium problems. So on my screen here, what I've opened up is the equilibrium lesson two. You can find this PDF in the uh, equilibrium e-learning folder, and it's the second lecture. Now, if you scroll or open up that page and scroll to, I don't know what page this is, uh, which one, two, three, it's on page three. Here are the directions on how to use the solver function. Now I've opened up uh, the graphing calculator emulator here so you can see exactly what I would type in. So here's how you set this up. So the first thing you need to do on your calculator is find the math key. The math key is right here on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and click the math key. And we're going to choose arrow down and choose the solver function. Now the location of the solver function is going to change from calculator to calculator. It doesn't really matter here on mine it's choice C so I'm going to hit enter. All right and so now because this is an 84 one of the newer ones the CE edition it's going to have two boxes here. So now I'm going to go ahead and enter in the equation that I need to solve. So the example here in the notes for the carbon dioxide decomposing to form carbon monoxide and oxygen. I filled out my ice table ahead of time here so you can see how I would have how I would have worked this. So two moles in a five liter flask so we can only enter molarities so it's the molarity is going to be 0.4. They didn't mention these so there's nothing there. So I know that this is going to decrease and this side is going to increase because there's no values here. So I have to increase this side. So when we don't know what the value of change is going to be, we use X. Now I have to pay attention to the coefficients. And so since CO2 has a coefficient of 2, it's going to be minus 2X. Carbon monoxide has a coefficient of 2. It's going to be plus 2X here on the product side. Oxygen has a coefficient of 1, so it's just plus 1X. My equilibrium variables then will be as shown. And when I've written my KEQ expression, my equilibrium expression, remember how it's products over reactants, coefficients right here become exponents, here and here. And now I can go ahead and substitute. So I take the equilibrium variables and I plug them in for my variables. And because the KEQ was given to me at the beginning, I know what that is. So now I have a working equilibrium equation. So to solve for x, I'm going to go to my solver, and I'm going to type in what I have set up for the left side and right side of the equation. So I'm going to put the left side, this whole left side here, in box 1. So that's going to be parentheses, 2x, close that parentheses. I'm going to square it, and it's multiplied by x. If it's singular x here, you don't really need the parentheses around here. I'm just kind of doing it to keep consistent with what I have. And then divide. And then new parentheses. I've got 0 0.40 minus 2x. I'm going to close that parentheses. And that whole quantity is also squared. All right, so that's the entire left side of my equation. My right, or my, let's hit enter. My second, or my second box here is going to be the left side of the equation, which is going to be the KQ value. So 2.0 second comma means times 10 to the power of, and it's to the power of negative 6. All right, so double check and make sure I've entered in everything in my correctly. Now, the number one area where people make mistakes is they just min mis enter the variables or they have some kind of syntaxing error with a uh, number of parentheses. Um, that might happen. I'll show you an example later where that might happen. Okay, so I've checked this all in. I've got this entered correctly. I'm going to hit enter once. And this is really important. This here, this icon that's flashing here on a zero, that has to say zero. If you've used solver before in the past, 
you're going to have your last solution to the last problem you entered here. Um, let's say those are some numbers here. If that's the case, you need to make sure that you clear this line and enter zero on the X line. We need to center the search grid, basically. And now uh, the solving function is an alpha function, which means it's a green button function. So I'm going to hit the alpha and then enter. And there is my solution for X. So X is 0 0.00425. Once I know what my value of X is, I can plug that in, and now I can answer the question, what are the equilibrium concentrations? So oxygen at equilibrium would have a molarity of 0 0.00425. Carbon monoxide would be twice that. And carbon dioxide would be 4, 0.4 minus 2 times this value of x. So let's try another one. I'm going to go ahead and clear. Um, okay, well, let's quit out of that. All right, so let's move on to the next example. Actually, here, we'll use the example on the previous page. So sample equal sample four. I know I worked this one out in the notability note, but let's just go ahead and work it here as well. So you see I have my ice table filled out. And I have my equilibrium variables. I don't know why I have parentheses here. I just got in the mood, I guess. And let's go ahead and enter in our values into the equation. So again, the steps for the solver. Hit the math key. Arrow up or down until you find the solver. Here it is. Hit enter. These old equations I want out of here, so I'm going to clear that. Okay, and I'm going to enter in my equation here. So this right here. So we've got parentheses 2x close the parentheses square it. Um, just want to point something out here. So let's say let's back up here for a second. Delete that. Let's say you had a value that here that wasn't a square. Let's say it needed to be three or four. You guys know that you can go to uh, the math key Right, and you can choose, uh, actually, sorry, not the math key. Well, here you can choose cubic, so cubed, but um, or you can just do the caret, right? I lost my solver. So here. You can raise it to you know a three or four or whatever it would need to be, All right? Just just so you know that if it's not going to be two, you can you can enter in by using the caret key. Well, we need a two here. All right, so quantity two x squared divided by quantity point one five zero minus x. Close that quantity, and so hit enter. That brings me to the second box, and this is where I go ahead and type, I need to clear the old value, and this is where I type in my KQ, 4.50. All right, so I check everything, see that I've entered it in correctly. Okay, it looks like I have. I enter, and this is what I was talking about. So here, this is the solution to the last problem we did, but we don't want it to interfere with our solver process now. So let's just clear that. So put a zero there and make sure we hit alpha, enter. And so here in this problem, the value of x is 0.134. And we would go ahead and we would substitute that in so we can get actual molarities at equilibrium. All right, maybe one more. Oh, and here we'll talk about simplification. OK, so with simplification, sometimes you have a KQ value that's really small, like 10 to the negative 18th. This is really, really, really small. Remember when KQ is really, really small, that means that the reactants are favored. That means at equilibrium, you have way more reactant than product. So when this happens, uh, you can often end up with an unwieldy polynomial, um, an equation that when you plug into your calculator, when you're using solver, it 
it has many different solutions and it has difficulty choosing which one is the right one. So oftentimes we're going to need to simplify that. So for example, in this reaction here, I've set up the ice table and based on the information I was told. So uh, I'm going to subtract 2x here because the coefficient is 2. I'm going to add 2x here because the coefficient is 2. I'm going to add 1x here. So by substituting in my equilibrium variables into my equilibrium expression, this is what I get. Now, the, simpl the simplification can be done whenever your smallest non-zero initial concentration, like these are zeros, so we ignore them. So this one here, whenever this is many orders of magnitude different from your KEQ value. And that's, you know, that's an order, that's 17 orders different. This is 1 times 10 to the negative 1. This is times 10 to the negative 18, 17 orders apart. It's a huge difference. Whenever that happens, any addition or subtraction of x within a quantity, so like right here, within this quantity, that subtraction of x can be ignored. And so if we ignore it, I just rewrite this without it. And so there it is. There's no subtraction of a 2x anymore. And what this does is this greatly simplifies the polynomial. In fact, you don't even need the solver for this reaction anymore. You can solve for x directly by rearranging everything, grouping your like terms, and we have a value that's equal to x cubed, so you take the cube root, right? Or in other words, you take it to the power of uh, one third. And x value turns out to be 2.6 times 10 to the negative 7. Now, when you substitute this value in for here, x is so small that after rounding, you're not really changing this value. At equilibrium, the concentration of H2O is still 0.100. So that means our simplification was totally justified. We could totally do that. But the simplification only happens when there's an addition or subtraction of x to a quantity. Like we're modifying this quantity, 0.1. You can't ignore these. Right? These have to be there because you need a value. They're, they're actually being multiplied and divided. You have to have them there so you can solve for them. The simplification is only when you add or subtract within parentheses. So let's look at one last example here. All right, so in this reaction, here's the information. They tell us the starting molarities. Here's the ice table, and it's all set up. All right, pay attention to the coefficients and how you set this up. You were given initial concentrations for Q2 and R. So writing your equilibrium expression, substituting in your values. Look here, I've got a subtraction of x, and I've got a subtraction of 2x. Again. Based on the huge gap, the huge difference in the powers of your initial concentrations and your KQ, I can just go ahead and erase these. And when I erase these, this is what I get. And now I don't need the solver. So now I just kind of math it out and find x is 3 times 10 to the negative fifth. And again, to check to see if this was OK to do, look up here. When I subtracted 3 times 10 to the negative fifth, this number here, 0 0.30, would have become 0 0.29995, but after rounding, it would still have been 0 0.30. So this is totally acceptable. Now, we do need a value on this side, so the value of R, QR, at equilibrium is going to be 2 times the value of X, and that's how we get 6 times 10 to the negative fifth.